Because she wasn't wearing her collar. What? Someone stole Chloe's collar? Oh, I'm gonna go all kinds of Mexican on them. No! <laughs> what is this movie? <laughs> Beverly, <laughs> Beverly Hills Chihuahua is hilariously racist. <laughs> Honest to God, it's one of those movies to where like, um, you watch it as a kid and you, you, you maybe don't think it's funny, but like, it's like a decent movie, but like, you don't remember anything about it. Revisiting this as an adult, holy shit, it's so funny and it's just so left field. Excuse me, excuse me, senor, gardener guy, your dog is muy bad, muy, muy, muy bad, mucho naughty. No, no entiendo, señorita. Can you, like, get your doggy o <laughs> The under and overtones of this whole movie is just so fun. It's so racist, and it's just, it's so unapologetic. Like, this is the time period to where people didn't give a fuck. <laughs> this has to be the most out-of-pocket kids movie I've ever seen. It's way better than, like, the Air Buddies or, like, Beethoven, those talking movies, like... This is the movie. Uh, it, it, it's so stupid and like funny with its racism. I know that sounds fucked up, but like it is what it is. But yeah, before talking about any of that, I guess I'm gonna talk about the cinematography. There is some CGI elements, but they're they're absolutely atrocious and like so uncanny. It's like that super early 2000s, even though it's like late 2000s. It feels like the super early 2000s like CGI they added on animals. And it's it's so atrocious. Yeah, the cinematography. What the fuck you be doing, gang? But uh, yeah, the cinematography in this movie is not necessarily good in any sense. But like, there is a lot of motion and a lot of like fluidity in some shots to where it, it feels entertaining at the very least. I personally think the best part of this movie is the backdrops they're using. There's a lot of places that are like, honest to God, kind of interesting to be in. Like, I love the scenery in this. It's shot in Mexico or else, or else it seems like it. And I don't know, there's a lot of beautiful scenery. There's like some Aztec sort of like pyramids or like, not pyramids, but like, Oh my goodness, I cannot remember the word. Oh my god, there's like some sort of like Aztec ruins to where we meet, <laughs> we meet um, <laughs> Chihuahua people and it, it, it's, it's interesting to say the least. I'm just a lap dog. Lap dog? No. Do not insult yourself. Do not insult the Chihuahua race. No mas. No mas? Si. It means no more. This movie deadass is just two white people go to Mexico and then they're just like, oh, why are they speaking Spanish? I don't understand. <laughs> but yeah, for the most part, it's a 2000s movie. You're not going to get the best scenery per se, but like it was very entertaining for the most part. The score, on the other hand, is very obnoxious in my opinion. Like there, there is some parts to where it does definitely shine and I think it's decent per se but i'm not saying this is a good score in any sort of sense like i don't know what was going on here but like there's a lot of goofy instrumentals when characters are talking there's a lot of like over dramatic sort of like strings or whatever piano like it's just it's super over dramatic and it doesn't really fit the scenes or the vibe of the movie very well hey. oh this is just like animal planet what do i do Something, anything! Oh, shoot, shoot, lizard! Shoot, shoot! We're going to take that rat! <laughs> Ew! Oh my gosh! Are you alright? Hello? Hola? The soundtrack, on the other hand, is extremely funny. At least some of the parts are funny. Like, they, they use songs so wrong, and it almost feels like kind of ironic and it's I, I just can't help i just can't help but laugh it is absolutely <laughs> insane the way they're using their soundtrack um they, they don't have any original music as far as i'm aware maybe the chihuahua song <laughs> maybe that song is um <laughs> maybe it's a original song but for the most part they have like very uh, pop culture references and it, it's it's extremely funny <laughs> What do you see, compa? It's a big place, my little friend. I may be small, but I am fighting for something 
bigger than all of it. Mi corazón. I can be your hero, baby. Ah! 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 Delgado. Dumbass bitch, man. This is a movie about chihuahuas, and you're over here talking about some dumb shit. Like, what? what's wrong with you? Now, to talk a little bit on this story, this story is about a Beverly Hills chihuahua who gets pampered and loved by... You know... My cat is being dumb. Yeah, get your ass on, little, little gamer. Yeah, anyway, this movie is about a Beverly Hills Chihuahua who is very pampered, very rich, and uh, ends up going up to Mexico in order to have, like, a little vacation or whatever like that. And she ends up getting kidnapped by a dog fighting cartel or something like that. And, um, yeah, her main mission or the main goal of the movie is just to get back home after that. It's... It's interesting to say at least. <laughs> the writing in this movie is obviously so like campy and so like unserious for the most part because like it is a kids movie about talking animals to where they CGI like they animate their lips moving so like the script's not gonna be the best but it, it it's so uh, it's so funny. It's so fucking funny. The racism in this movie is just so fucking funny because like you have this very white chihuahua and like you know white person who is like talking to mexicans and talking to like spanish speakers and just like oh no hable english <laughs> I, can't, I, I can't even do it i can't even do it. the way the way the white people talk in this movie is like the way i try to <laughs> I try to talk to my friend, like some, except like I say, hey, 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 wait, 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 I know how I made that sound. <laughs> the way I talk to those friends is like I'm always saying stupid stuff, regardless, because I think it's super funny, like to just be like a stupid dumbass, like saying things like "oh, bien, adios mio" or something. <laughs> Something like that like having weird inflections with my Spanish. I think it's absolutely funny and like it gives it gives them a drive It gives them a kick but like The, the reason why I do that is because I'm trying to make fun of like other people who do that who are doing that in this movie <laughs> I ain't gonna lie when the Chihuahua said no mas I kind of felt that shit. I think that shit was real. It came from the heart. That was a heart song, motherfucker. <laughs> but yeah, in case I didn't say it, there is stereotypes. There is just flat out racism. And it's just, it, it's it's so stupid. And I, I don't know. I couldn't personally take the racism in this series. It's just like, it's so funny to where like, you know they're being ignorant as fuck. Fuck, and it, I, I don't know, I don't know, it just got to chuckle out of me every single time. What are you doing here? I mean, K, are you doing here? Isn't it obvious to find Chloe? Your friend Angela told me everything. Why did you pretend you couldn't speak English? I didn't, you just assumed. And you thought you just let me go along and make a fool of myself? Well, you didn't need any help with that. What makes you think I need help now from a gardener? Like, the rich white people, they have a gardener, and... Of course the gardener is Mexican because it's Hollywood. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> I swear to God, for this time period, it seems like the only Mexican that like Hollywood knew was George Lopez. It's it's so fucking funny. There's nothing you can do. What? We're Mexican, not Mexican. The structure of this movie is one to be studied. I like it, it, it has a sort of like solid like streamline sort of plot but then they just suddenly go left field for no reason and it's it's insane number one rule of the streets princess every dog for himself now get lost my name is not princessa it's chloe and i am lost and i want to be found Oh my gosh, she's just a lost toy, and she wants to be found. <laughs> I cannot stress enough that, like, no matter where you think this movie is going, it, it's gonna go a weird direction. Like, you may be right for some of it, but then it just randomly flips the script and says, I'm just gonna do some random fuck shit, bro. <laughs>
And for all of this, I, I really gotta say, I think I'm gonna give this movie a solid five. Like, there is obvious issues about it, but it is so entertaining, I cannot lie. Watching this movie with a friend was an absolute blast because one, we're funny as fuck, but like two, it's just like such a random ass time to where like you can have very good commentary over it. I think it's an extremely fun time. Not necessarily for kids, but like as an adult, I, I found pleasure in it. <laughs> of all the sort of like real life CGI animated movies I've seen, um, I guess animated movies, it's CGI, it's still animation, but like, I gotta say this, for the most part, until I see otherwise, it kind of towers above the rest, like it's an extremely fun time. But that's all I have to say. Anyway, how's it going, pups? It's a canine, and I'm- This way, this way! Okay! My booty! Your what? 